everyone in this video this will be a simple and easy neck bone recipe um, these are pork neck bones but you are you know you can use the beef ones and they're cut kind of small they're all pretty small I just bought them that way and all you need is a few simple things you need some beef base or you can use um, whatever of course seasonings that you like but to show you how simple this recipe is if you get you some of this and I buy this at Walmart you'll probably find it somewhere else and some oil that's all you need and what you want to do is just just coat your uh, your neck bones with some oil you don't need a whole lot but you just want to coat them and we're going to cook these in the crock pot in the slow cooker I'm going to put them on low and I'm gonna let them cook while we're going to service on this morning and when I come back and I show you all the finished product I'll let you know the exact time that I cooked them for and once you get them coated with the oil then you just want to add your beef base and you're going to need to massage this so that each piece gets because uh, this is your flavor And y'all, when I tell you, this stuff is good anyway. I have to go get some more. As you can see, I'm almost out. So this flavor and this beef base, oh my gosh, it is so good. And if you've tried it, then you know what I'm talking about. Oh, where did they get some of this stuff? It's just really delicious. So once you get it coated, we're going to go ahead and put it in the crock pot. All right, and we're just going to dump them on in there, honey juices and all all right so now all you that's it you don't have to do anything else and I know you're like what yes this is another way you can make neck bones and when you see the finished product <laughs> you may just consider trying it all right so I'll be back when they're done okay you all so I cooked my neck bones for six hours on low and as you can see, I'm just gonna kind of give it a stir. The only thing I did was I did add a little bit of my Greek in there before I went out to church. I stirred them and added a little Greek all purpose. It's my favorite blend of seasoning. As you all know, if you follow me, my Greek is by Cavenders. So I'm just gonna take one out so you all can see the tenderness of this meat, honey. You're not gonna believe it. When you try it, look, it's falling off the bone. Let me try to get one if I can get it out. Come on over here so I can try this for you. You all, I can't make this up. So, you see how it's just coming apart. We didn't add no liquid to the pan, just our uh, neck bones that were tossed in the oil and our beef seasoning or whatever seasoning you prefer. And remember, you can use beef neck bones if you want. Oh my God, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh my God, you got to be kidding me, honey. Mm, 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 mm. Now, honey, if you try this, you're not going to be disappointed. As a matter of fact, you may not put them in the oven no more. Baby, these things are good. You see how I'm trying to kill it, but we on camera. So I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And happy, re happy Resurrection Sunday. I'm going to tear this up.